Good morning, this is YouTube, this is Debbie. And I thought I'd just show you how my trendsetter's coming along. I put the um, white covers on it with the uh, big metal disc. And these discs, when you put these white, co these uh, snap-in covers on them, they don't want to go on there. They won't turn very good. So I had to go in there with my, uh, I've got one of these big super punches, these quarter of inch, and I went in and repunched the holes. And after I did that, it turned real easy. So if you plan on using this with your metal disc, you're going to uh, just punch those holes and it'll work fine. But uh, I've done some tweaking on my system here. I've put top tabs here for home, and this is my deep cleaning list for uh, Fly Lady. Get my fingers to work, and I've got my deep cleaning list here, and these are some uh, hamburger recipes. I've got the, I got a big order from Zacon in. Their hamburger is so good. Oh my God, it's delicious. And I've got chicken coming, so I'm going to be putting some chicken recipes. Uh, and I'm doing some uh, meal prep ideals for how to prep it. The hamburger comes in individual vacuum-packed one-pound packages now. It's not those great big ones that you have to divide up anymore. And I'm going to try to keep this in frame today. Uh, I've noticed in some of my videos I tend to slide off. These are my pantry and my freezer inventories. These are, um, let's see, from organizedhome.com and organized Christmas. Uh, these are PDFs, and if you print them out at 80%, they fit perfect in your Happy Planner. Any PDF, if you print it out at 80%, it works really good in here. And here's one I'm working on for Christmas. And I was just making a list of everything I want in the pantry to uh, do Christmas goodies with. This is a, uh, where did I get that? I don't know why people don't put their names on these things. This came from, uh, oh well, somewhere on the internet. It's a gold planner. And then I have my list section. And I've got some of these little arc uh, lists, and I've got some of the smaller Happy Planner uh, lists, and I've got here some recipes to try. Then I have my brain dump, and I just love marking them out with a big black marker when I do them. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm going to do a color key for my Bible uh, marking. And that, uh, ooh, that's a secret. I shouldn't. Shouldn't show that. Um, and this is projects. I went through Pinterest and I found some pins that I want to uh, do for Memorial Day and 4th of July. And I made like a little pin vision board. And these are some things I'm going to do for uh, uh, 4th of July decor at my shop and at my home. And uh, the reason I got the trendsetter to start with was for planning events like uh, holidays and um, Christmas, you name it, I, I do it. <laughs> and uh, It gets overwhelming and I need a plan, so that's what I got the trendsetter for and it works really good for that. I um, got these lined papers off of Pinterest, uh, Rebecca Myers Designs. This is a uh, pen I got. I'm going to make some cards. And I got these uh, project goal sheets from the website. I really like these. I, uh, I've got some YouTube ideals in here and I've got a wooden palette and I found this on Pinterest. I'm going to paint that wooden palette for yard decor and uh, this is for uh, my garden that plan I make and I think that's all I've got. This is a uh, savings tracker for Christmas. You uh, you highlight, you go down here and you put like 20, 40, you know, like how much money you're going to put back each week. And um, you color in these lines right beside them as you get and your tree fills up. It's really cool. This came from uh, DebtFreeCharts.com 
and uh, they have a whole lot of them. They have a car. They've got home improvements, and I keep some of these uh, time sheets in here because you know when I get really overwhelmed, I have to start breaking things way down. And uh, I'm not real sure what to do with these. I have noticed that I use the calendar more than I do anything else in these. Uh, these sheets like this. I don't use these to, to do sheets very much. I have started uh, swiping stuff out of a different happy planner and putting it in here. And I, I need lines to write on. And I got these, uh, these stencil marker things and they're not doing it for me. Them lines are too far apart. I'll write tiny, and that's just wasting a whole lot of space. And uh, I made these out of uh, the grid paper. I just cut it in half. I use. Uh, I have to have a tracker. I have. That's my what I do in the morning and what I go before I go to bed at night. That's the only way I can survive is to fill one of those out every week. But I tried doing lines like that, and I tried. Uh, I tried using this punch and punching out line paper and putting them in. I can't stand it. Uh, that stuff stuck on there, it just makes me crazy. I can't stand it. Um, this is tolerable. But I got the Happy Planner stamps. The little tick list. And uh, this, this is calming for me. It's not very... Uh, I've tried doing it in a lighter color and it's still pretty overwhelming. So I've tried it and I think this I think this is gonna work a lot better. And uh, the daily to-do list, um, breaking things down into baby steps in these. Uh, I do a card class each month at a retirement home and I have to get, uh, let's see, 15, about 45 card kits together uh, every month and I don't know why it's such a chore for me but you know I, I have to uh, I have to find a sketch I have to find the paper I have to and if I break it down into little steps here it goes a lot easier and then I have uh, painting trips that I want to take and I've listed some places uh, that I'd like to go plein air painting around here that's not too far away because my poor old car is not going to make it too far. But anyway, I'm using these to-do sheets to break things down and then I've got the, um, this is a spring cleaning checklist and I got this from the polka.posy.com. I love her stuff. She's got, she does the most awesome things and if you print it at 80% it will fit in your, uh, happy planner and uh, she has a spring cleaning maintenance list for outdoors and indoors here and uh, let's see this is budget stuff and then here's that page I don't know what to do with and then here's my uh, on these monthly pages I like to go and find out every festival every event arts and craft shows, anything like that that I enjoy doing, I put it in here. I also go in here and I put my, uh, what do you call them, uh, auto drafts, any auto drafts I have, I'll put them in here in red so that I, they don't sneak up on me. Um, this is our last BSF class. I uh, keep track of those. I've got my little great niece is having a... Uh, dance recital, got National Scrapbooking Day, and the day my granddaughter's getting out of school, and the day my granddaughter's going to come down here and stay with her grandma for the summer. Yay! And on this, where it says top three, I've gone through and put my, uh, my one word for the year in all of them so that it'll be right there in front of me, and I won't forget. And let me see. What else I've stuck? I've stuck a lot of stuff in here. I just have to find it. This was a cute little ideal I saw on Pinterest, and I uh, printed it out. 
put it in here with repositional sticky so I can remember to show it to a lady, uh, the activity director where I work because I think that would be fun for the seniors to make. They love doing little arts and crafts. And Let's see, here's a, um, I bought this uh, chipboard advent calendar to do for my great granddaughter. And I stuck it in July because July will be a good time for me to start working on it. And I'll have it done by, uh, well, I have to have it done by the end of August because they're moving back to Florida. And I have a little sticky here to remind me to find out about a uh, craft show that they have every year. I found these on Pinterest. And it, I don't know. Oh, I do. Wait a minute. There is naturalbeachliving.com. This is a 30 days of fall activities. And the only thing I see on here that I wouldn't do is go bowling. But it's got like go on a bike ride, have a photo shoot, visit an apple or Well, I wouldn't do that. There's no apples here. Paint pumpkins, go on a nature walk, make a fall wreath, eat candy corn, build a birdhouse. I noticed outside a little bird built a nest in my birdhouse. I was so excited. Off track, off track. Uh, make apple cider. Watch a fall movie. There's some cute stuff. And on the back of it, I have put some more pins for uh, fall. This little garland is stinking adorable. They made little yarn pumpkins and they twisted the um, green pipe cleaner around it for a stem and they tied them on some jute and it looks real easy to do and uh, these little bats are little pillow boxes and I have the uh, pillow box punch board and I thought those would be stinking adorable to take to work and uh, let's see oh here's some good ones here I put a reminder I have um, a little salt shaker that's a little tombstone and one of them broke, and my mother uh, bought those out in Arizona one year when we were on a trip. And I'm going to put it in my little haunted house uh, setup that I made. And I've got a little ghost that I need to paint. So I put down here where I put them. And I put them in September so I can have them done. And I've got, you know, that's... Because when I think of something, I'll go through and I'll stick it a couple of months ahead of when I need it. And that way I can have it done when I need it and not be rushed. Here are some, um, this is a Christmas master checklist. And what to do in September and October, what to do in November, what to do in December, what to do Christmas week, and what to do after Christmas. And these are wonderful little checklists. This one comes from Crafty Cards, etc., and it was done in 2013. If you go to the little archive on the side and check on the year, and the, it'll probably pop up. I found it on Pinterest. And this is a fall cleaning checklist from Polka Dot Posey, and uh, these things are these. For, this is uh, the website is the Polka Dot Posey .com. And uh, these are just a fall cleaning schedule of things you should do around the house now for fall. And then on the back it has a checklist for outdoors and indoors. And I just stick these things in the month when I find them where they're going to be needed. Um, I got a little sticky note here of an event that comes up in uh, Snook every year. And I'd like to go see that. They have a great big old giant mud puddle and everybody gets in it and has a hog splash. I think that sounds hysterical. These I found on uh, uh, organizedchristmas.com and it's s'mores in a jar. And they use marshmallow peeps and uh, holiday M&Ms and they're so cute and you give them for gifts. So I put those in here in uh, October. Let's see. These are the Cruising Through the Holiday Missions. They start in October from Fly Lady, so I put that. And here's my October events on a list. We have a lot of festivals and things come up in the fall here, and I like to know when they're coming, so I've made a list. 
I've started a list. I haven't got it made yet. World Fest is a uh, festival we have here in Central Park, and it's really nice. We have what multicultural. We have a, one of the biggest colleges in the country, and we have people from all over the world. I've got a list here on a sticky note to look up Black Friday sales and schedule visits. And um, I've got here a uh, sticky note telling me a YouTube to watch on it. It shows you how to do it. Um, oh, this is uh, a note showing me how to get my garland up on time. This is my Thanksgiving menu. And I've got a note on there that says, Done. Don't change it. Keep it simple, sweetie. Because I obsess over menus for at least nine months out. It's how I roll. And here's some from the Crafty, uh, let's see, what was her name? Crafty Cards, etc. And these are nice. These are for Thanksgiving week. And you have a Monday to do, a Tuesday to do, a Wednesday to do, a Thursday to do, and the day up. And you have the Thanksgiving menu. And you have the Thanksgiving recipes, where they're at, the estimated cost of the uh, recipe, the preparation time, cook time, temperature. And this one comes from the polka dot posy. This is nice. I really like these. This is not the Thanksgiving menu on this side. And on this side, it has a time schedule when you need to put these things in the oven. You can check off what it's cooked and you have a line here, don't forget. And this one's from Crafty Cards, etc. It's a shopping list. And uh, I just love it. Um, this thing is great for planning events. If I'm, an, I'm a little bit of obsessive compulsive and here's the Christmas menu from Crafty Cards and then on the back of it it's got the uh, recipe, dinner recipe and I have one for Easter too I've already taken it out but uh, they're real cute and it tells the recipe and here's another one of the um, Christmas activities countdown this came from sippycupmom.com and now there's a lot of things in here that won't apply to us because it doesn't snow here. It has make snow angels, go ice skating, go snowboarding. That's DIY snow globe. Now that I can do. I make awesome snow globe. Ugly sweater contest. We've done that. Christmas movies, DIY ornaments, visit Santa. We do all that. Make puppy chow. Take part in Operation Crafty. I'm not sure what that is. And here's my Christmas card list. And then I have the daily to-dos. And then I have my uh, notes pages. I've got some YouTube. Oops, passwords. Probably don't want need to see those. And I don't go through here and hide everything with sticky notes. I probably should, but it just seems silly to me. If there's something in there you don't want people to see, just take it out. But uh, cause that's how I do it. I don't always catch everything. Is But that's my trendsetter for right now. And I have a video on my menu plan recipe book. And... Uh, I filled it up, so I went to get some of the recipe refills, and they do not sell them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby anymore. So I got me a new cookbook. I like this one. I was going to get one just like the other one, but this one had red rings. I love red. And I made these covers out of the uh, silicone mats that you can get at Dollar Tree, and uh, there's a video on how to do this on coupons to provide. She has a playlist on her channel of uh, Happy Planner DIYs, and this is on there. And I got it because it's so pretty and it's not scratched. I don't want to keep it that way. I went through and I redid the labels on it with uh, label maker. Well, not all of them, but most of them. 
I've got appetizers and beverages because I do a lot of those. And I went through Pinterest. And right now I've got um, 4th of July memorial things. But I went through and found red, white, and blue. There's cupcakes. And I make these things. They are awesome. You melt those candy melts in the microwave. And you dunk an Oreo in there. And they are so good. But I've got, uh, these are deviled eggs. Different done red white and blue and these little cookies my granddaughter named that recipe the bee's knees she loves to make those and uh then they have the red velvet cake with the uh blue and red and i just put these on a plain sheet uh and stuck them in my uh well i've got them in recipes i've got them in appetizers and beverages i'll need to move them i don't have a sweet section in here yet but I've been going through, I've only got two appetizers in this one. I have a lot in the other one. But I've been going through and uh, doing uh, beef recipes. I wrote out uh, my mom's recipe. I need to write out some of mine. It didn't occur to me. I haven't got any of my recipes in my recipe books. I use the Happy Planner like a scrapbook. I scrap in... Uh, recipes i go to uh, all recipes oops i'm out of frame go into allrecipes.com or betty crocker or you know just any of those things and i cut out the section with the ingredients and i put there and i cut out the section with the directions and stick it there and i cut out the piece with the title and stick it there and i do it because i like to have the picture and it works out really good this one it was too big to scrap so I just reduced it to 80% and printed it out and punched it and stuck it in there. And I'll probably handwrite something on the back. But in this one, I have a section for beef and a section for chicken. I, uh, I got a huge Zacon order of hamburger and I've got 80 pounds of chicken coming. So I need chicken recipes. And if anybody knows of a good chicken recipe, leave it in the comments. But... Uh, I just got this cookbook, so I don't have that much in it. And in the back, in this last section, I put holiday menus. And my menus in my Happy Planner, uh, my trendsetter, the crafty things, I'm going to put those in here. I put a pocket for loose recipes because I print them out, and I don't always get to them right away, so I can just stick them in there. This was like sage advice here. i got to tell you, I love this. I have a terrible time making menus and it causes me a great deal of stress. And I belong to a message group called the Happy Holiday Home. And uh, it's been online for 30 years. And uh, there are some great cooks on there. And I, I went in and I asked them, I, I just, I need a menu, one that I can use every year. And she went through and she wrote all of this out for me. How to plan a menu and what to put in it. I mean, she's got a hot appetizer and a cold appetizer. Um, you know, like your main dish is like your turkey or your ham or whatever. And what to do, how to balance the side dishes. She printed that all out for me. It was awesome. Well, she didn't print it. She wrote it out and I printed it out. And this was my Thanksgiving menu last year with my... Uh, what do you call that? Um, grocery list. And I keep those because I don't like doing it again. But anyway, that's my new cookbook. And I really like this thing. I think it's so pretty. And I think them plastic covers just add something to it. Anyway, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope I stayed in frame and you didn't get to see my white head any more than absolutely necessary. Have a wonderful Memorial Day and happy whatever's coming up. But have a good time. God bless.